Python is a very prominent language in the production environment, but it has one big problem. It is much slower when compared to the high speed languages like C++. But now the things have turned with the introduction of a much faster language called Mojo. This superset language of Python claims that it is not just two times faster, nor 10 times faster, nor 100 times faster. It claims to be 35,000 times faster than a normal Python program. Yes, you heard it right. It claims that it is 35,000 times faster than your very old Python grandpa language. When artificial intelligence comes into consideration, Python is more dominant with its huge library and flexibility of usage. Even though there are many Python applications showcasing beautifully with performance, when we explore in deep, we can see the usage of C or Rust or C++ underneath. Let's explore the language features. Number one, it is not developed by another Git developer that can be ignored. It is developed by Chris Latton, an American computer scientist, former Google and Tesla employee, who was primarily responsible for creating the Swift, the programming language, and the co-founder of LLVM compiler. Number two, this is a programming language developed to run on EA hardware like GPU is running on CUDA in hardware acceleration. It is achieved using multi-level intermediate representation to scale up on internal complexity. It has a built-in automated code tuning to optimize your code to the target hardware. Number three, it is the superset of Python which is designed in the same way like the TypeScript is developed for JavaScript, which makes the learning much easier than we compare to the learning curve of Rust or other such type languages. It is bundled with many additional features like var mutable, let immutable, struct, which is similar to that of a Python class, but it is static. Not only that, since it is a superset, it supports importing modules like NumPy and Pandas. It can also support graphical representation modules like Matplotlib. Number four, it has a strong type checking and at the same time it supports dynamic data types but when the performance comes into consideration, static becomes the most needed. For memory management, we have ownership and borrowing similar to the Rust programming. And manual memory management is done by using pointers similar to C++. It is a pragmatic language which supports safety and no safety based on the need. Point number five. This language Mojo has an extension of dot Mojo and at the same time it supports dot fire Mojo icon as an extension which is very unique. We will now take a multiplication problem to demonstrate the speed of Mojo. When the Python implementation is just imported into Mojo, it is it runs 14 times faster. Come on, we have just started. It also has features like adding type implementation and we can use static and var let, which is mutable or immutable. We have fn for function, which is an alternative for define. We also have single instruction multiple data which helps in parallelism where the data pool sends its data parallel to the underlying hardware. Now coming back to the performance using struct as type now you can see that it is 500 times faster which is not even near to the half of its performance. With the help of SIMD vector, which gets accelerated to 1000 times speed. Linear algebra is useful for parallel computing. By using parallelism, we can almost double the speed to 2000 times. It is using tiling for caching, which makes it reuse the data in a very effective manner. And there is a auto-tune feature, which helps to find the op prompt for the underlying hardware and for execution. 
and which makes it 4000 times faster. Now even Python will say it is impressive, right? I have a thinking in my mind. Will this language dominate the programming languages and killing all the other competitors? Let me know in the comment section. For your information, companies have already started recruiting for Mojo as you can see. Thank you for watching. If you like the knowledge sharing, do like, share and subscribe for more such knowledge. Thank you.